Twenty-six men, carefully chosen for their courage and ability, formed the Arizona Rangers. Fame and public acclaim was not their objective. This is perhaps why the story of these twenty-six men has never been told until now. Twenty-six Rangers to maintain the peace of an entire state. There were many who felt it couldn't be done. And several recent arrivals in Nogales were thoroughly in accord with this opinion. These men had made hundreds of headlines with their criminal exploits. They were known from the Dakotas to the Rio Grande as the Wild Bunch, and they specialized in train robbery. Unique in the annals of frontier lawlessness, most of them practiced fastidious taste, both in clothing and in women. Intelligent, well-organized, they professed contempt for the law in general and for the small company of Arizona Rangers in particular. On the 14th of June, 1901, they intended to prove this with a daring escapade. for nothing, Captain. The rancher says he doesn't want to prosecute after all. Sorry, Captain, I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, you don't have to go, Travis. All right, Miss Bender, let's get back to it. You say you're a school teacher. That's right. I'm a school teacher. Where did you teach? I was working in Bisbee. How long ago? Just a little while ago. We can check on that. Well, let's see. I guess it must have been four or five months ago. And what have you been doing since? Traveling. On what you made as a school teacher, you were able to travel for four or five months? I saved up for it. But this morning you were arrested for shoplifting. I tell you, I wasn't shoplifting. I just took those things outside to see the color in the daylight. And was the daylight so much better halfway down the street? Now, Miss Bender, the shoplifting charge is between you and the local police. We're interested in these railroad timetables we found in your room. Why, you have timetables for every railroad in the West. How do you explain that? I told you. I've been traveling. People use timetables when they travel, don't they? What do you know about the Hole in the Wall gang, Miss Bender? The what? They're also called the Wild Bunch, train robbers. I don't know anything about them. They travel high, wide, and fancy, and keep two or three pretty girls with them. Aren't you one of those girls, Miss Bender? Thank you for calling me pretty. But I'm not one of those girls. Are you ready, honey? You didn't really think you could keep me here, did you? You stay right where you are. came in here.
Just disappeared. Nobody knows where. How's the man I hit? Bullet in the thigh. Dunning and Peters moved him to the jail. Can he talk? No, he can. But he won't. He's one of the wild bunch. Got a poster on him. How about the girl? Well, she's in a cell, too. Took nerve coming right into this office after her. If that girl was shoplifting, they must be pretty low on money. Right. They'll be pulling another train robbery fast. And in our own backyard. How about letting me handle this case? You're taking the girl up to Tucson. Why send me up there when the job is down here? Travis, the biggest problem we have in this case is lack of information. Nobody wants to tell us anything. These are thieving killers. The public seems to think they're a bunch of Robin Hoods. All right, so let me stay here and go after them. No. I want to draw the gang into another try of freeing the girl. Somebody in the outfit thinks a lot of her. And if you take her out of here, they'll come after her. And when they do, they move into a trap. Within the hour, the Nogales press was told that Mary Bender was being moved north under conditions of maximum security. Travel arrangements were to remain secret. Go ahead, Travis. We'll be covering you. Right. We're ready now. Anything you say, Ranger. Seems like you and your prisoner are going to be my only passengers, Mr. Travis. We planned it that way. You're not afraid of me, are you? Now what's with that idea in your head? I sit over here. You sit over there. Why don't you sit back and relax, Miss Bender? It's going to be a long ride. Jail. Doesn't seem too bad to me. the night here. Hotel. How nice. You're being very kind to me. I thought I'd have to spend the night in jail. get into a mess like this. Everybody makes mistakes. Would you help me? How? I thought, well, maybe after I get out of this, that you might be able to help me get another teaching job. 
Maybe not teaching. Maybe some other kind of work. Anything. I might be able to do that. A lot of people know you. You're a ranger. People think a lot of rangers. They listen to you. If you want to try for a new start, I wouldn't turn you down. You will help me then. If you're on the level. It'd be worth taking a chance on that, wouldn't it? Crossing. I'll bring you back some supper. <laughs> I was wondering where you'd be. Where's the girl? She's paved it, and I've got her handcuffed to a bed. Well, how's it going? <laughs> I find it very enjoyable. Well, never mind about that. You've got a job to do. What time do you leave in the morning? Seven o'clock. Good. You better get yourself some dinner. I'll keep an eye on the girl till you get back. started this? I don't know. I was sitting there eating them. They lit on me like a buffalo stampede. You know them? I never saw them before in my life. Come on, we'll get you to the doctor. This is a wonderful breakfast. Thank you, Mr. Trent. Thank the Arizona Rangers. They're paying for it. Now, why didn't you just let me think you were buying it for me? Don't you have any romance in your heart? Lady, as the city lawyers say, that's a leading question. I thought you'd want to know the stage is pulling out in 10 minutes, Mr. Travis. Who are you? Name's Cromody. I'm taking Muller's place. He won't be able to drive for a month. Still early, aren't you? I've got nine minutes to seven. We'll be ready. What's the trouble? This wheel's freezing up. Why didn't you take care of that back in the way? This is not my regular run. Muller told me everything was all right, and I figured he'd know. Isn't there any grease in the coach? Well, there should be. Well, take a look at it. What are you trying to do? Well, I wasn't trying to run away. I wouldn't be here, would I? You stick with me. Mind if I stay here while the driver fixes that wheel? I won't see places like this for quite a while if I end up behind bars. Why didn't you think of that before you got in this mess? I should have had someone like you around. Suppose they don't put me in jail. Suppose they give me another chance. I hope they do give you another chance. Will you help me find that job? I'll sure think about it. You'll think about it? Ah! <laughs> 
It sure beats all what a woman will do to get her own way. Now, if you really want that job... Don't stand there grinning at me. Get me out of here. I'm not grinning at you. <laughs> get me out of here. You look kind of cute. <laughs> I can't travel like this. I have to take these clothes off and dry them. Now, wait a minute. Will you tell me what else I can do? I'll go behind those bushes. You just stay here. catch thieves, and you take the risk of losing your bait. In this case, the bait was Mary Bender, a prisoner who made good her escape from the Arizona Rangers within 48 hours after being taken into custody. You made it. Did you think I wouldn't? Where now? Back to Nogales. The boys are still there. You can hold up at Maggie Derwin's place. How'd you expect us to cover you when you left town a half hour ahead of schedule? He's supposed to be the driver. He's one of the gang or they got to him. I don't know which. I don't belong to any gang. You're under arrest anyway. Where's the girl, Travis? She got away. Some of her crowd must have picked her up. Captain Reining and his men returned to Nogales without their quarry. The wild bunch was still at large, and the Arizona Rangers had lost a prisoner. I'm willing to bet they came back here. Why? For one thing, they're cocky enough to do it. And after what happened, they figured they'd have the edge on us. It looks like a lot of people around here are willing to agree with them. I want to stay on a case, Captain. I think you've been on the case too long. I think we need someone a little smarter on it. Suit yourself. You're certainly letting everybody know what you think. Tomorrow you can draw the pay you've got coming to you. You're finished with the Rangers.
couldn't swing it, could you? <laughs> you got up against some real operators, and look what happened. <laughs> Just what did happen, mister? They made fools out of you, that's what. Who told you? Now, you never mind who told me. I know. They made fools of you. <laughs> Not all of us, just me. Ah, he admits it. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> the wild bunch makes fools of them. <laughs> Ranger, you're lucky. You're lucky you got back here with your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing for? Well, if a thing's funny, it's funny no matter who it happens to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ranger, you can't be so bad after all. Any man that can laugh at himself the way you do can't be so bad. <laughs> I'm not a Ranger anymore. Well, what do you mean? I got fired. That's the way of it, mister. I got fired. Well, you just call me Wally. <laughs> Any man that can laugh at himself the way you do can call me Wally. <laughs> and you didn't feel unhappy because they fired you? Because you got lots of friends around here. Hey, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you see? You don't have to feel unhappy because they fired you. I'm not unhappy, Wally. I can always go back to punching cows. Why, sure you can. <laughs> ain't this a wonderful fellow now? <laughs> he ain't crying at all. <laughs> he lost his job, got nothing, and he ain't crying. <laughs> I still got one thing, Wally. When that girl got away, she left a dress behind, and I've got it. That gal's one of the wild bunch. And you got her dress? That's right. Oh, don't believe it. You want to see it? I'll show it to you. Wait. Right now, you just come with me, Wally. Oh. What do you know about that? <laughs> How'd you like to take it to Mary Bender, Wally? You mean you let me do that? Oh, no, you don't. You ain't gonna make a stool pigeon out of me. I told you I wasn't a ranger anymore, Wally. Oh, no, not me. Even if I did know where she was. I guess it got a little dirty back there. You shouldn't have let that dress get dirty. How'd you like to take it to the laundry floor, Wally, and just tell the man where to deliver it? And when Mary Bender gets it all clean and nice, it'll be because you did it a favor. Well, now, I don't mind doing that. <laughs> Go ahead. I want you in Tucson when that train arrives, Harley. This should be a big haul, and if we bring it off, Cassidy said he would come down here with the rest of the bunch. We've got to get out of town, fast. We're in for trouble if we don't. Trouble? What kind of trouble? They just sent my dress to me. What dress? The one I left when I ran away from the ranger. It was just delivered to me. That means they know where I'm staying. And you came right over here so they'd know where we're staying. All right, I made a mistake. We can still get out of here. We'd better do it fast. Harley! Well, we've been wondering when you'd get here. Stay out of my... It's all yours. How's the shoulder? It's all right. Better take a couple of days and rest up. Thanks, but I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Uh, Captain. Yes? I thought you fired me. That was just part of my plan to trap the Wild Bunch. You didn't take me seriously, did you? <laughs> Not seriously enough to come in after my pay. <laughs> Miss Bender? You're too young to have much of a record. 
Maybe I could help somehow. Don't waste your time doing me any favors, Ranger. Suit yourself. Take him over and lock him up. She's hard as nails. And smart, too. She really fooled me. Well, you were in good company. Delilah fooled Samson, too. If Delilah looked anything like Mary Bender, <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> Twenty-six men who rode the Arizona Territory. Right on. 